Hello, dear aquarists. Today already our case number 73 and greetings from Spain. And today it's about a, a very common fish we have in our aquaria since many years and one of the most popular one. It's about uh, the neon tetra. A neon tetra a very specific case which I haven't been encountered in my work as a fish doctor uh, for a since I started working on it about uh, 46 years ago. Yes, already 46 years ago. And I'll sh share my screen to, to uh, explain you what we found on that neon tetra, uh, that it had some extra growths on the skin and on the tail. Uh, the neon tetra, well, the scientific name is the Parachyrodon ionici, and usually it's, it's a, a, pond, a tank raised in, uh, in Asia. Uh, these days, particularly in Indonesia uh, and Vietnam, also in Czechia, uh, hardly any wild ones are coming available. This was a, a tank race or pond race uh, species. And here I show you what was so typical on that fish. You, you see here the, the extra growths. Look at the growths here on the tail and on the side of the body of that neon tetra. You see also the very heavy respiration. Let me show you on another video. Here is another one here with a very small spot. And here you see the large lumps here and on the tail and on the tail base of that neon tetra. And these growths, well, uh, they were very unusual. And of course, that's where the microscope play, plays for us an important role to, to see what we can find. And the thing we noticed that the, there were some growths on the scale, see, at the border, at those edges of the scales, there were some extra additional growths, some, some rings, some extra material, which was built up on, on the side. Look also in here, also the scales, like something had uh, attached to the scales, uh, infected the scales, made it proliferate. Uh, a material, I don't know. Uh, I'm not a morphologist, uh, don't have the laboratory. I'm a fish doctor working in the field and finding out the problems uh, on a simple way and trying to help you as, a, as an aquarist or a fish carekeeper to try how we can handle the problem and what can we do about it. Here you see another scale. You see this uh, additional growths on, on top of the scale, which, which is, uh, well, where can it come from? Well, it can come from something that caused the fish to stress and caused something to happen on the fish. And here you see that on the tail also, all this growths uh, attached to the, the tail base of uh, that neon tetra. Also the gills, they were very much stressed. You see a whole load of, of black parts uh, sitting on, on the edges and, 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 and covering, covering up the total uh, gill tissue and which were millions of bacteria. Here you see the colonies of bacteria. So there are a lot of bacteria we're playing a role affecting the fish, affecting the gills. Look at the gills, the hyperplasia or the enlarging of the gill lamellae, that is a typical a stress uh, problem uh, in the gills. So the gills are not properly working. That's why the fish were having a very heavy respiration. Why well, can you imagine when this whole load of bacteria is sitting on your lungs? It causes a certain pneumonia or a, 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 a lung infection. And here it's a gill infection. Here we see it uh, on, on a video. I show you in a video what it will be when we go enlarging it to a 200 and 400 magnification. And you see the colonies of bacteria here, the black parts are all colonies. And you see all the tiny little black spots in between, which are the moving bacteria. See, there are millions of bacteria here are all the colonies and the millions of bacteria which are attached to the gills. And that is, of course, causing a serious stress of the fish. And that might have caused a, a secondary problem on the scales of the fish, which might have been a viral infection. I don't know. Sometimes I'm unclear about certain uh, uh, findings because I don't have the laboratory or we don't invest in spending a lot of research on that. It's not up to me for doing that. Me and you is communicating. What do we find? How do we use a microscope and how can we treat? Uh, 
We also the liver, you can see here, the liver should be normally nice and brown, but you see this black part in it, which is a liver which is intruded, could be the bacteria causing that. And you see the very uh, yellowish, flame yellowish uh, spleen, which is not normal. And we found some tubercles in between the intestine. So what kind of bacteria could have caused that? Uh, maybe it's another part of mycobacteria playing a role. So the organs were poorly functioning, the liver was bad, the, the gills were in very, very bad shape, and maybe we had some secondary problems outside uh, the neon tetra, which is giving us an, a problem uh, and showing us that the fish was in stress. But in my case, so the usual growths, we could determine that it could be a secondary viral infection. Yes, maybe. But the main problem is the bacterial infection on the gills and also in the internal organs playing a big role that for this case, I would recommend to apply an antibacterial treatment with an antibiotic that you can ask from your fish doctor or, or your vet to get what you have. Could it be tetracycline? Uh, could it be uh, uh, lincomycin? Could it be uh, another product like androfloxacin, for instance, like bitril? That is sometimes a laboratory quick test, 24 hours can tell you what antibiotic to use, but you fish or vet or your fish doctor can help you. Uh, the fish that are badly suffering, well, again, I always recommend put them asleep. There's no time need to keep them suffering. Uh, you can help with the fish food. Well, like I say, it, it's one of my important issues in my work as a fish doctor that the fish food can help the fish. Like it can help mankind when you apply a good feeding program. It's also for the fish important that you help the immune system, to strengthen the immune system and the defense of the fish. And here we recommend to do this with Dr. Baslier by Fish Food Forte or the Dr. Baslier by Fish Food Professional Care, which have nutri commence, which is a functional food that help to develop the immune system. So that was another case, which is all presented on my Patreon channel, where you can become a, a well-trained fish doctor. Yes, that's something you can use when you work in the in the fish industry. It's becoming a small fish doctor, knowing something more than, than the average. And that can help you to keep the fish in the best condition and being a uh, happy fish care keeper. Thank you for watching and taking your time to become a well-trained person. Thank you.